Hello friends, welcome back to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica. I am so excited that you are joining us. We are in an Among Us unit. We've been doing lots of fun things with Among Us, including using Scratch to program a task. We've also learned how to program in code blocks of a 3D modeling so that we can make a little character. And today we're actually going to make a paper circuit Among Us character as we do some fun things. This is super creative. It's a really easy paper circuit to wire up, unlike our wiring task paper circuit for the Among Us set. That was our hardest one ever, so this one's a little different. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to join us and get through this pretty easily. What you'll need is our printout. This will come in your email if you have a Patreon account with us. So if you're supporting us, thank you so much. If you want to grab that, you can always go to patreon.com slash rosyresearch and check us out and support all the fun science we're doing. We'll be doing a whole unit on Mars coming up so we can celebrate Perseverance landing. We have scotch tape that we're going to need. You're going to need some copper tape, or if you don't have copper tape, you can actually cut aluminum foil because that's also conductive. It's just not as easy to work with. You're going to need a coin cell battery. I always use CR2032s. I find they last a pretty good while. And an LED, and then a pair of scissors. And of course, whatever sort of art supplies you want to make it uniquely yours. So let's go through how to make this. The first step is going to be to cut along this solid line and then we'll sort of fold it backwards and then we'll cut along this other solid black line. That will give us the shape to our paper circuit. And when you cut this off, you kind of want to be careful because there's some hat choices that you can cut up and use if you like to. The hats for Among Us are my absolute favorite part of the game, I think. I wear a new hat each time I play. It's quite fun. I wanted to put the flamingo hat on there, but I thought that'd be too hard to do. All right, so now we're gonna cut. After we folded it, I can still see the lines. So if you folded it so your lines are inside, you wanna swap that the other direction. And then we'll just cut out our little character among these dark lines. The reason why I always love to try to fold all my stuff in is that once you get your paper circuit working, then by folding it, you sort of protected it and it doesn't break nearly as much as if you just sort of have the circuit on the back of your character. Um, it just gives it a lot more protection. And as I've taught classes, I've learned that it can be really frustrating if you get your paper circuit working and then all of a sudden it stops working because one little wire got bumped the wrong way and just folding it and having it double thick, I have found always sort of fixes that situation for us. All right. Now in the end, our end result will be that we have our circuit and then we will fold this over this way to protect our circuit. So if you wanted to, you could draw everything you wanted to right now when it's all flat and there's no bumps from the battery or wobbles from the LED legs. Um, just depends how you want to do it. But this is a chance if you wanted to pause the video, you could do that. I've always done mine after the fact. All right, so let's wire this up. Now that we're cut out, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to wire on this orange and this yellow line right here. To do that, we'll use our copper tape. You gotta get your copper tape started. It's a little tricky to get it going. And you wanna start sticking it straight down to the paper because if you pull this all the way off, it's gonna get very, very curly like ringlets and it's gonna be really difficult to deal with. So we'll put it straight on down. And then when I get to a turn, you don't wanna rip your copper tape and then take a new piece. You actually wanna fold it so it's one continuously long piece of copper tape. If you rip it, those little electrons, they see these huge gaps in their highway and they can't really move along it. And if they can't move, they can't light up our LED. I'm gonna come right down here, just like that. And then I like to use my nail to sort of press it all down. So there's that one and now we'll do this other one. Don't have enough tape left over for that one and that's okay. I'll get it started with my nail again. 
Now we'll just tape it straight on down to the paper like that. Now I'll fold it and then you just press it down and it stays really nicely. All right, fabulous. So we'll press that down. So this is where our battery will go and you can see that when this is flipped over, this part will contact the top of the battery. So we'll have contact on the top of the battery and on the bottom of the battery. But when we also fold this over, we wanna make sure that these two wires won't touch each other anywhere, because if they do, then my electrons won't have to go through the LED, they'll just go straight through the wire. The LED won't light up and that'll be a bummer. So you wanna put a piece of non-conductive tape, scotch tape or masking tape, will work great right there. So just put a little piece right here just to cover that up and make sure that these two wires here can't touch. You don't want it to cover up right here because we're gonna put our LED legs there and we need it to touch. All right, so now we're gonna choose our color of LED. I think I'm gonna go for green this time. And you'll notice our LEDs, they have a long leg and a short leg. And so the long leg always goes to the top of the battery and on our circuit templates, we tell you where the long leg goes. So this one says LED long leg, so that goes onto this wire and the LED short leg goes onto this one. LEDs are like one-way streets, so it's really important that we put the long leg where the long leg goes and the short leg where the short leg goes. And then you wanna make sure your legs are touching that copper tape, and then we'll just tape it down with another piece of our non-conductive scotch or masking tape. And you can tape over both of the legs at the same time. Just as long as you make sure that they are both touching their lines of copper tape, just like that. And this guy can just cut off this little edge right there of the excess tape. I wanna press down really good just to make sure that it sticks in place and it's really secure. And I'm gonna add in my battery. So on all of our paper circuits, our batteries, they go on this dark green circle and you do it so that you can see the letters. So one side is sort of, it's a little smaller, it's got like a bunch of almost like polka dots on it. The other side is nice and smooth and it's got those letters on it. So you wanna see the lettering. And then you're gonna tape it in. And when we tape it in, we don't wanna tape straight over the top because that will prevent this wire from touching that metal. So you really just wanna tape in just like a tiny bit, just that part. So I have most of my battery open and I have a tiny bit here. And that is enough to hold that battery in. It doesn't need to be really taped in super deep. And then our switch will be when we press here. If you find out that, ooh, I wanna store it and it keeps turning on, what you'll be able to do is you can actually just take a piece of paper and stick it up the leg. To hold this together, because this is, might be a little frustrating, you can add a piece of scotch tape just like this to close it. I would do your markers and your crayons and your color pencils first though, because you can't do that um, once you have tape on there. So you can add a little piece of tape. And so now it sort of stays together and you can just press it on and off. And then the last thing to do would be to like choose a hat or maybe make your own hat sort of decoration, and color it all up and you can make a fun um, little Among Us paper circuit project. So that is a great activity that you can do over the weekend. Hopefully you find it pretty simple to do. If you need some troubleshooting, you can always email us um, and check us out. Make sure you see what other fun projects that we are doing. And you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Thanks so much for joining us. Bye friends.